So uniform beam, AB, mass 40 kilograms, length 5 meters, rests horizontally. So here's the beam, resting horizontally, length 5 meters, mass 40 kilograms, it's uniform. So in the middle we have um, a weight of 40 G. It rests on two supports where AC, so if this is A, B, that's our rod, AC is one meter, so this point here, C, that's one meter, and DB, so our pivot D here, is going to be one meter. And because it's a uniform rod, that means the distance from C to C to the center of mass is going to be 1.5 meters, and 1.5 meters on the other side as well. We're going to have a reaction force at C and a reaction force at D. It says the reaction at D is twice the reaction at C. So if this is R, then the reaction at D is going to be 2R. Now we have a man of mass 80 kilograms standing on the beam at E. So at point E, which is going to be closer to, to your reaction, your point D, just because you can tell from, because it, it just makes more sense, because the reaction force is bigger, to counteract the weight of the man. The weight of the man is 80 G. And we don't know what the distance is, so what we're going to do is we're going to call that x meters and because the whole distance between c and d is three meters we're going to call this three minus x meters okay so first let's take moments around r about around c moments about c so now you can see there are two distances that are unknowns and the two reactions that are unknowns. So, that's, no, we don't need to do that just yet because what we can do is we can resolve our resolve our forces vertically first. You can see vertically we have uh, we have three R in total vertically going uh, as reaction forces and our weight in total you can see is 40 g plus 80 g so that's 120 g downwards so minus 120 g and because we're balanced that equals zero so we can get the value of our reaction force by saying 3r is 120 g so our reaction force is 40 g so this is 40 g and this is 80g. So at this point, I'm going to take moments about C. Uh, if I take moments about C, uh, I can then figure out my distance x. So let's think about clockwise being positive. We have 40g times by 1.5 in a clockwise direction. So that's 60G. Then we have 80G times X in a clockwise direction. So it's plus 80G times X. And then we have uh, 80G from our normal reaction force in an anti-clockwise direction at three meters from C. So minus three times 80. That's 240 G. And that equals zero because we have we have zero Newton meters uh, moments around. So at this point, uh, we can gather that 80X, all of the G's canceled, cancel, is going to equal uh, 240 minus 60. So 180 there. So x is going to equal 180 divided by 80, which is 18 divided by 8, 9 divided by 4, 4.5 divided by 2. That's 2.25 meters. So if x is 2.25 meters, um, 
the distance AE then is going to equal your one meter from A to D plus your X meters from A, sorry, A to C plus your six your 2.25 meters from C to E. So this is going to be 3.25 meters. 